Hello again, everyone. Uh, another little experiment today. You may remember that the last video was making this, which was a, a coloured debossed image. So I thought to myself, was there any mileage in using one of the backgrounds that I made with um, spray starch, pigment powders and cling wrap, um, using one of these backgrounds, using a similar sort of process. This is my least favourite of the batch that I did the other day. So what I thought I would do is <laughs> try it. People often often say to me, um, would such and such a thing work or would such and such a thing happen? And to be honest, my answer really is just have a go and see. I mean, there's not a lot to lose really, is there? So let me just get a couple of plates out. I'm going to cut using the same die that I used the other day, which is one of the gummier pan uh, calendar ones. Where's my other plate for goodness sake? Here it is. There we go. Let's try and get this down. There we are. There's not quite enough for two, so I could perhaps um, try cutting down the, the actual image. There's one. Uh, you see, there's not enough. There's not enough there. But what, how, why don't I? do it which way which bit do i like now i'd like that bit of blue so why don't we cut it here and then i'll cut the other side okay use a smaller one of these let's see what i'm doing okay let's do this bit just try and get it near the edge okay Right, now we've got one side that's not, oh, it's, it's almost okay from the previous one, isn't it? I will get it coming in the right way and pretty much parallel as far as I can, though. Uh, let's just have it like that. I'm going to put a piece of tape on this, I think. Put a piece of tape on, and I don't want to go too far because I don't want a second one of these. Let's just see. Just want to go over the edge, basically. Okay. Let's have a go at this. Okay. There we are. Different shape, but it's fine, isn't it? Okay, now let's just see what we can do with with these. I'm going to use the same embossing folder. Let's pop this. Ah, now then, I want the debossed side, don't I? So I'm going to have to look at this way, see what I'm going to get. Now that looks quite nice because that is kind of where the blue is there. Um, it's going to have a blue, it's going to have a blue leaf, but let's just have a look, see what, where else there is. Oh, that's quite a nice one. Let's go for that one there. Okay, debossed side. Here we go. Little heart. Right, there's my debossed side. So I've got two different inks here. The last time I used some um, Distress Oxide. This time I've got a, a choice of two different ones. I've got a, a hybrid ink, which is a mix of pigment and dye, and Versafine, which is an oil base. So I'm not quite sure which camp this falls into oil-based ink washes off with water. 
I don't know. We'll just try both. Let's try the versifying first. Let's just see. There we go. Now I'm just going to go all over. Oh, there's some texture on this. Is that from the paper? I don't know. don't know what the texture is. This is not as juicy as the... Um, let me put more of the glove on. It's not as juicy as the um, oxide ink was. <sighs> okay. This ink will go absolutely everywhere, so I'll just be a little circumspect. That's quite a nice effect, isn't it? Don't you agree? Just need to try and get this black. Maybe if I re-inked my pad. But that's nice, isn't it? So you don't really need to colour in the debossing. You just use a, a background. OK, let's try this one. I'll close this up. Give this a bit of a wipe. There we go. And we'll use the same embossing folder and make sure we put it to the debossed side. So that's got to go that, that way, that way up with the little heart at the bottom. Let's see which bit we like. Um, I'll just do it at the end there, I think. Okay, let's deboss this or emboss it or whatever. And we'll try with the pig, the um, hybrid ink this time. See how we go. I'm wondering what it would be like if it was uh, glazed or something at the end. So. Let's see, right, this is the this is the hybrid ink. It's quite nice. As I say, this was my least favourite of the um that's a nice finish, isn't it? looks a little more intense that black than the other one okay well I think what I'm going to have to do now is probably make a card with, with one of these and and see how we go on I was merely doing it as a as a as a kind of technique really but there you go got a background that you're not too thrilled with I'm wondering about putting a bit of I don't know wink of Stella kind of thing on the on the flowers whoa there you go something else to have a go at short and sweet um just a quick word actually um before I do go uh about subscriptions people are still finding that they are being unknowingly unsubscribed from my channel so if you could check every time um Every time, give a thumbs up. I think that is one of the things that probably helps to keep you in the loop. Um, comment when you can or when you feel you'd like to. Um, and hopefully we, we will go forward rather than kind of slipping back. Some people have got my channel in their list of subscriptions, but when they go to the actual my actual channel, they find they've been unsubscribed. So if you could check every time, that would be wonderful. Hello, well, I'm back again. I'm, I'm still playing, actually. Um, after my last video, or I may add, well add this to that video, I decided to try and glaze one of these panels. So I just tapped it all over with Versamark and dunked it in my clear embossing powder. And I found that even the debossed side, which hadn't actually got any Versamark on, still contained some of that... A very fine embossing powder so I heated it from underneath so it didn't get blown away and so now the whole thing is glazed and I thought well that's quite a 
a good idea. I don't know. It, you may prefer the matte finish with no glaze on, but I just thought I would have a go and see. But then <laughs> my mind was kind of carrying on and I thought, well, what else can I use as far as um, backgrounds are concerned to do this process? And I've forgotten I'd even bought this. I've never used it. It's um, a Tim Holtz. It's got a well, they look like acorns, but these don't look like oak leaves. So I'm not quite sure what they are really. But I, I also found in the drawer a bit of um, this is shaving foam that had been left too long and it's gone all sort of floppy but you know I thought I'd have a go at this. I did start to try and just see what would happen. I'm going to try this and just see. I've got so many backgrounds in the drawers that you know don't seem to get a look in. I'm going to try that in a moment. Let's just try this one first and I thought as it was a sort of a rusty colour I would try and add some deep brown ink to it. So let's have a little look at this. Once I start playing around. So there's my debossed side. Here I've got some ground espresso. Let's just let's just have a go at this. Oh look at this. interesting isn't it look at that let me get my glove again goodness me I'm just wondering whether perhaps um, a twinkly or a holographic type um, oh, I haven't blown <sighs> right let's just carry on and finish this it's interesting isn't it made a really nice that's lovely mm. I love the hint of colour just on the veining of the leaves too isn't that lovely whoa well I've got another one here to try and I think that the the joy of this is if you can find an embossing folder a 3D embossing folder that has got a reasonable amount of the flat area so that the contrast ink will show up. And to use up some backgrounds like this, I think is quite a good idea. I've got so, so, so many backgrounds. In, in, I've got a, um, a, a tall shelving unit and it's just got drawers and it, they're absolutely full. I'm wondering whether this one, this is a... Um, another Tim Holtz one, um, whether this greeny one would do. And I thought if I do it this way, it'll be a bit short, but that's fine. But I might be able to get two. And I was thinking instead I would ink with blue and I've dug out Knight of Navy stamping up, which is very, very old and may well not be very uh, juicy or chipped sapphire distress. Now I've got to put it on the, for the debossed side. And I'll go up a little bit so I've got more green into this bit, I think. Let's bring it over to this side. I'm going to have to cut it off. I think I'm going to have to cut this in half before we even start. Now let's just have a quick chop. I'll go about. Let's just have a look a minute. What's that end like? It's about there. Okay, it's, uh, right, where did I say about there? Okay, right, let's have a look. One of these pieces, let's see. Onto the debossed side. I mean, these can still be cut down. They're not actually square by the look of it, but let's have a look at this one. Let's see if we can get this one through. Oh, goodness. Let me try it the other way up, the other way around. That's got going. Oh, it's 
so hard to get these Tim Holtz ones through the machine. Right. This is the the basic, it's just the base uh, layer and one cutting plate, thin cutting plate. Amazing. Right. There it is. Let's just see what this one looks like. Turn that over. Let's try the distress oxide and see. It's quite light, isn't it? Interesting though. I'll try with, I've got a bit too much ink in there. I don't know if I can get any of that out. No, not really. Let me just go over that again. No, that's, uh, looks like it's going to be <laughs> that bit that's going to be used of that but that's fine it's worthwhile having a go and just seeing I will try now with the the knight of navy and see if that has a different effect I think I might have to get a different uh palette thing let's just get a clean once I get going I just you know I just want to keep seeing what we can do Right, let's just have this one and we'll do this with the same embossing folder, but I'll use the Knight of Navy this time. Let's see. Right. thinking actually this particular one may well have been better because it's rather pretty this bit down here never mind I can always do another one it's no, it, 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 nothing ventured and all that let's just see now this is a nice colour ooh and it's staying kind of Shiny. Ooh. Oh my, this is nice. Let's just see. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I can I can see the the shimmery bit showing through the bit at the bottom. That's nice. This might be a good ink to use. Let's get that bit down there. A little bit here. This is altogether nicer, I think, than the oxide. Look, that's... If that is sort of tailored and cho a bit chosen of that, that's quite interesting. Just shows what, you know, what happens when you try different things. Because this one, the pigment just kind of sits on the top but look at that chalk and cheese huh i don't like that at all now in comparison because this one has allowed the the shimmer to show through can you see well there you go two different things i wonder what that would have been like with i don't think i've got a, a really deep brown uh of those kinds of inks I'll have to have a look and a think. But there you go, a little more food for thought, a little more to ponder. Whoa, as ever, thank you so much for watching.